Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to That's That Podcast on YouTube. Yeah, I started one on this. This is Beavis and Butthead Reading Sucks. No, I didn't. Okay. I ended up last year for Christmas, uh, I put a lot of books on my Amazon list. You can get them used for next to nothing. Like, shippings when it ends up costing more than the book a lot of times. And my aunt's weird. She doesn't count shipping as part of what she's paying for the present. I do. I factor it in. I mean, I don't like... If I'm only gonna spend fifty bucks on something, I find them some, something that's fifty dollars plus shipping. I'll pay the shipping, you know. But I say I kind of factor it in a little bit. She does, so I end up with a pile of stuff from her every year. Well, I did butt files. Turn out butt files is reprinted. That and that's what this is. This reprints a bunch of the Beavis and Butthead books. This is probably an early two thousand printing. I guess it's MTV books. The collected works of Beavis and Butthead reading sucks. When Beavis and Butthead first appeared on MTV more than a decade ago, critics dismissed them as brainless couch potatoes who did nothing but eat nachos and watch TV. Today we know they're ahead of their time. These classic Beavis and Butthead volumes, Encyclopedia, Ha Ha for Hollywood, The Butt Files, and Chicken Soup for the Butt are nothing short of a national treasure to represent the boys' finest work. If you buy only one book this year, buy this one. Then, like, you only have to buy one book this year because reading sucks. Okay. I'm guessing this is 2000. Yeah, it's mentioned online shows. So it's in the 2000s. Uh, and these are cheap. The the Beavis and Butt. That's a cool thing. Beavis and Butt. The show was great. I love the fuck out of it. I'm one of those. I like the cartoons and I like the videos. I like both. You know what I'm saying. And I went to school with quite a few Beavis and Butt heads, but it was metal and southern rock instead of just pure metal or the metal they listen to. Easy to easy Metallica, yeah. Pantera. I love how they always fill on Anselmo. They always called him just called him Pantera. Pantera. Be nice to you, Stab Daddy Pantera. Let's put out my FTV books. Who's a part of a bigger group? I just don't know what's wrong. I like this. Dear friends and readers, I write this introduction. The summer is coming to an end. The leaves are falling. Hundreds of kids across the land are being forced to leave their televisions and return to school and read books and stuff. It's like a national tragedy. We all know that reading sucks, but why not take a moment to savor the good points of the book you're holding in your hands? And how do I know you're holding this in your hands right now? And not something else in your hands? Uh, huh, huh, huh. One good thing about this book is they had to destroy thousands of trees and use a bunch of dangerous chemicals to make it. Huh, huh. Cool, so please enjoy this collection of our finest work. All you have to do is sit there and turn the page. It's a good way to make use of your butt. Uh, huh, huh. Because like they say on television, a buzz is a terrible thing to waste. 2005. Wow, this is still a 15-year-old book. And I've got the book, okay, about the authors. Encyclopedia. So I'm kind of flipped it. Classified ads. Personals, do your friends tease you because your thingies are so big? They, this like very sensitive in more ways than one. Huh, huh, guy wants to heal your emotional wounds or something. I'll take a hands-on approach to your problem. Uh, problems box sixty dot. Anatomy section. Fortune cookies, like I said. Chicks, correspondence. I guess concert, but who is that? Yeah. Butthead's report card. Dreams and nightmares. Declaration of Independence. How America told that sucky cutting country Britain to shove it up their butthole. Like on the 4th of July, a bunch of old dudes wrote the Declaration of Independence and blew off a bunch of fireworks and bottle rockets. It kind of like... It's kind of like Britain is this little dingleberry of a country, so these dudes took this piece of paper and just wiped Britain and told them to get off our butt. <laughs> oh. The stupidity of Beavis and Butt is so great. I love the art in this. I don't know who did the art, but it looks great. It looks just like it came off the show. And some of it, I'm sure it did. The President's United States. President, JFK president, somebody, uh, he got busted or something. Ronald Raymond, Mount Rushmore, the guy from school, Mick Vicker, the guy, with, the guy with the cool name. Ronald Raymond again. Norman Storm, the oatmeal guy, Martin Luther King, Elvis Dumbass, Daniel Day Lewis, Ronald Raymond. How many times did they put Reagan in? Steven Tyler, some other dude, he's bald, ha ha. The guy from the 20. <laughs> oh shit. This is actually some pretty funny stuff. I haven't flipped through this in a while. It's actually some pretty funny stuff. Oh, Blood Sugar Sex Magic. Uh-oh, like songs we wrote. Okay, let's see here. If I said I love you, would you take off your shirt? If I said the words, would you? If I said I love you, would you like just take off your shirt, would you? Because baby, if that's what it takes to prove I want to see you without a shirt, I'll say, I mean, 
if like the only way I'll see you without your shirt on is to say I love you, I'll say it. If you took off your shirt before I even said it though, that would be cool. Send me some trouble or something. But really, like, the only way to get it get you out of your shirt is to say it, that's cool too. Because baby, the important thing is to get your shirt off, get your shirt off. Like that's the important thing is to get that damn thing off, yeah, get it off. <laughs> Strange but true. Some dudes actually use freezer sperm. Beavis prefers to make his fresh daily. Some of these shit they took in here with. We like made a video. <laughs> and then we get an expo. Ha ha for Hollywood. For everybody that might judge it in the door. Five sure ways to get famous. Getting on TV. Let's say it's four book. It's four different books or five books reprinted here. The butt files are in here. This is the butt files, I think. Yeah. And this was, I mean, this is probably a 2025 buck book when it came. Whoa, shit! Sorry about that. 2025 buck book when it came out. But now, I want to say it was like. Seven bucks and ship and eight bucks and ship. Yeah, fairly expensive. Good copy. The shape. Yeah, it's on an X library. I was kind of surprised. Usually you get them cheap. They're X libraries. This is chicken soup for the butt. Fucking Urkel. Urkel is part of a long of a long tradition. Goes all the way back to Gary Coleman and Webster. He believes that even if you get really old, you can still act like you're really young on TV. Urkel is like 40 or 70 years old or something, but on TV he's still in high school. Lots of famous people on TV believe in Urkel's philosophy, like Pee Wee Herman, Aerosmith, and his dudes on Beverly Hills 90269. I'm glad I'm not on TV because I never get any older and always have to have to be in high school. That would suck. The winner in my jock strap, my buddy. I am not a farker, fart knocker, self-help diploma. Is there a price on this? Yeah, probably. Fourteen ninety-five in the U.S. That's not bad when it's all reprints. So. Cool little book. I just pulled out the collection. Hey, people! I don't know how many people know about this. Hope you enjoyed. It. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe. All the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye bye.